So, more music from Doom? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Mick Gordon, yes, please. Here we go. Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. All They Fear Is You was such a good track. I wanted to do more, and there was a lot of requests for this in those comments. So, hey, it all it makes sense because you wanted it anyway. Let's do it. So, I really don't know much about Mick Gordon other than the fact that I know he uses chainsaws and lawnmowers in his music. But I was like, I want to get on the wiki and like at least learn something about him and his past. So, let's check it out. He was born July 7th, 1985, and is from Queensland, Australia. Gordon began his musical career as a jazz blues guitarist in his teens. He first began to work as a sound designer with Pandemic Studios, where he contributed additional sound designs for Destroy All Humans 2. In 2013, he scored the first season of the fighting video game Killer Instinct, a reboot to the original 1994 title. Yeah, that original one back in 94, I played that one quite a bit in the arcade. Many quarters, many quarters were lost. The following year, Gordon scored the second season of Killer Instinct and the action-adventure first-person shooter Wolfenstein The New Order. Yeah, Wolfenstein is another throwback one. That is uh, many, many hours on the original PC back in the 90s. Let's go, good times. He returned to the Wolfenstein series in 2015 to compose the score for Wolfenstein The Old Blood, a prequel to Wolfenstein New Order. In 2016, Gordon completed the score for the science fiction first-person shooter Doom, a sequel to the 1993 game that was developed by ID Software. His score for Doom won a number of awards, including a DICE Award for Outstanding achievement in original music composition, SXSW Gaming Award for Excellence in Musical Score, the Game Awards Best Music Sound Design, and was nominated for a BAFTA Games Awards for Best Music. Well, he's done more work for video game soundtracks since then, but I just wanted to get us up to the Doom spot, so I'm very excited for this BFG Division. Let's go. We actually get to watch him play. This is killer already. All right. So we talked about those like triplet grooves, the 12 8 stuff, the six hit stuff in the previous video. Obviously, this is present here too. I really like the faint, like little bottle, like dee -dee 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 -dee, whatever metallic sound that's just cracking out threes. And we have our like little syncopated triplet groove coming in. All right. Let's get this drop again. Or is this not a drop? Uh, Just kind of entrance, entrance fuzz here. All right. Here we go. Oh, that little that little digital thing, and we see the face of the the Doom guy just a second there. Man, the jigga da 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 da. Just the accents on our triplet groups here. I'm gonna go back 25. I know I go back so much. I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't complain, but hey, that's just how I that's how I appreciate it all, man. It's how I get it all. Those. Are pushed so hard. Ooh, a little syncopation there. God, this is so good. I've it's fun seeing the game. I'm like, oh yeah, that game was fun to play. Uh I love seeing uh, nah, nah, nah. like the little just micro like quarter tone pitch bends there, just pulling down on that with how fuzzy it is. No, granted, there's so much stuff being done, like with the actual control side and like whatever. I'm I'm not a I say it in a lot of videos. I'm not a Pro Tools guy. I don't I don't have a skill set. My skill set is playing music live, like bringing it from a sheet. <laughs> Give it to me in the page, I'll make it happen. My skill set is not sound design. This is so so impressive. Love to hear it. All right, back five. Here we go. Oh, 
So one of the best parts about this is like in a drumline setting, we play this rhythm all, all the time. So all that really is, is da-ga-da-da-ga-da. With the set, if you think of triplets, one and a two and a, the end of one is a double note, a diddle, that da 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 But they're really fun, especially like that da da that da da that da 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 We play them all the time. But in this setting where it's super big, super fuzzy and in your face, and there's all kinds of other like worrying sounds, uh, and you have that like constant open hi hat and the drums, it, it's a really great way to create like an industrial, um, fuzzy metal sound. So which fits the game perfectly. So works out really well. <laughs> This is a hi hat. That is so wet. I don't know if I caught that melody the first time that wah, 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 that screamy thing. I'm going to go back 15. Just, uh, I don't know if it happened the first time. I'm not going to go back that far, but maybe it didn't. But uh, it was cool how my focus is still on that. Da -da 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 -da, all the like in your face uh, drum and uh, guitar. But that like worrying melody is pretty sweet. variation here. That was cool. So that second little variation, the obvious difference was the way the guitar, the rhythm guitar there was being like a little bit of palm mute and just the, the chunkiness, the timbre of it, meaning timbre, meaning sound of it was a little different. Um, that whole time, just appreciation to the way the bass drum is, whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's mic'd or there's, if it's edited at the end, I mean, obviously it's mic'd, you know, you know what I mean though? Like if that's triggered at all, I don't know. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go there. All I'm saying is it sounds freaking great. That's the whole point in the statement. <laughs> All right, so we're going to stop it right there just to talk about that whole when everything went away and we just dropped to the um, siren, for lack of better terms. Uh, I don't know all, all the correct, you know, fuzz names for these, but either way, okay. We have the siren happening and then we still have the da -da 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 being articulated just with instruments that are way up in the, in the treble atmosphere and we just have no low end going on. But the tempo doesn't change. The interpretation doesn't change. That's all there. And now the best, best part that comes in right here is those four note groupings. Da -ga -da -ga. Sorry, one, two, three, four. Da -da -da -da. Um, those are all still triplets. It's just that we're using more than three notes to convey the rhythmic melody here. So let's go back like 10 seconds to get into that. Yeah, so that's a really, really clever use of rhythm right there. Now, in case, you know, those of you that play and you're used to this, you, you already know this. I'm not, so I'm not talking to you. But those that are kind of new to this kind of stuff, if you sit there and you just kind of drum out triplets that whole time, you're going to line up that. It's still going to line up with the triplets. So those rhythms are just bar not borrowed. They are still from that 12-8 
or four four time thinking of triplet groupings. But if you just kind of pull back and just let it all go, you're like, wait a second, is is time changing? Are we now like one two three four, one two three four? Like what's happening? Is there a modulation? There's no modulation. It's still there. But this is a very, very clever use of rhythm, and it's just it's a really successful uh, display of how to do that in a kick-ass style. So loving it. All right, back five. Here we go. That melody is sick, dude. Where are we going now? All right, cool. So I was curious because we had that similar like fade out with the the cool like troubly soundings uh, sounds kind of building back. Was there going to be a drop? There wasn't a drop yet. So we're gonna go back five and let it go. And I'm I'm really I'm really digging this. So we still have our foundation. We just have it articulated, not so in your face with like face melting guitar, but the pulse is there just with all these like cool sounding electronic digital space sounds. All right, so everything we're hearing right now is a little variation on the theme that we have from the beginning. We have all the ideas. It is different, but yet it is the same. What that means basically is we've taken our, our, the key that we're in, the, uh, I will say like sound structure, which, which is going to include a rhythmic foundation of all that triplet stuff we're talking about. All this is included, but we're borrowing little ideas from each of those three phrases we had before and just, just altering sounds a tiny bit. That's about as technical as I can get on those because I don't know all the sound alteration names. But musically speaking, it's very, very, it's just good. This is how you keep a listener engaged and also the song and the piece of music uh, moving forward. So great use of uh, sound spectrums here. That's cool. More variation, more build. Literally perfect. That was probably one of the coolest builds I've uh, ever heard. I mean, I mean, you could maybe this is a drop, maybe it's not, but it doesn't matter. All the things that happened within the the best part was like uh triple 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 with that li weird funky like radio signal st sounding thing i was like what is that but there it just it's never stopping with new little variations so i think you could go back and listen to that just that segment alone probably like five or six times and probably pick up something different each of those times so that's uh that's pretty cool here we go on this, this drop
that was cool. The the jikukukuba. That was a little bit of a, a little bit of different use of rhythm. I was back ten. Let's get that again. One and two and three and four. Instead of boom, because our quarter notes right here. One and two and three and four. And so that's the first really like kind of straight twos that we're getting. So let's get that one more time because that's a super sick uh, transition. So you know what the theme there was? Of course you do. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Just in your face, man. Here we go. Back five. Let's let it drop. So I'm sorry, we got it. We got to praise it way more than that because the entire song for like we're at, we're 6:30 at 8:26 right now. The listener the whole time is exposed to anyone and their mom can understand triplets and what 12:8 is and just whatever from this. You don't need to know the names. You know what the feel is. But then suddenly one and two and three, we get this the straight duple division, and then he hits us with the one two three four five one two three four five, which completely it shifts it for a minute. So you can say that's a rhythmic bridge, right? If you think of everything else as verses or choruses, like this is a definite difference. Now, granted, it might happen again. I don't know. Cause I've never heard, well, heard it years ago, but the point being it is a stark difference from everything else. So it's just, it's, it's great writing. Let's keep going. Dude, Mick Gordon's a fucking genius. This is like, this is just such good stuff. Again, we have to hear that. Da 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 da. Yeah 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 yeah. And then we really get pulled into like a digital little loop there. That was pretty tasty. Though. Let's grab that again. That was a really good piece of music. Seriously, really, really, really good piece of music. Um, 
I think we broke it down as much as we needed to and really explain the differences of that middle section between our th- our rhythm bass in three, the rhythm bass in two, but showcase in five. That to me, that's the highlight. All the cool sounds, obviously amazing, and it has a different feel than anything else I've really experienced in uh gaming so far. I mean, I play a lot of games, but also, you know, I don't know. A lot of them were like, you know, <laughs> they're not Doom, you know, it's other stuff. Doom is so heavy. But uh, I really, really appreciate the genius that is going into this. And uh, th- th- when I was playing the game, I was not listening like this. I'm trying. I was trying to shoot stuff, and also you like you're streaming. You know, like you're trying to interact with your chat and talking to people. Like I was not able to just sit down and understand and hear everything that was going in there. Um, if there were some things you didn't catch, maybe on some of those rhythms that we talk about, I recommend going through, getting a couple of listens, and breaking it down. It makes the enjoyment out of what you're getting when you can hear the layers, and it just makes it that much better. And uh, I think the person that wrote it too is would, you know, they appreciate that you're trying to break down what they wrote. So you, you can uh, taste the ingredients, if that makes sense, taste the layers of, uh, you know, like how you hear it, but you can still like, you know, process it differently. So anyway, without getting too in depth with that, that's, that was a good time. So thank you so much for that recommendation. Where else are we going on this? Let me know in the comments, join the discord. Let me know there. That's actually better than the comments. But anyway, that was fun. Thank you so much for this. I hope you had a good time listening to it. My name is Drumroll Tony, I'm a streamer on Twitch. Make sure to catch me when I'm live so we can talk about Mick Gordon or Doom or video game music in general. You can find the link to my Twitch channel in the video description below as well as the Discord. If you like this video, click that like button, subscribe to the channel so you can catch the next one. All right, thanks so much. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.